Hello friends, welcome to the power of forgiveness. Let us begin by blessing ourselves in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. I came across this card. Uh, in the front of it is, is God speaking to us. In the back is us responding to him. But I will only read what God says, because that is important. So, listen to this. I know your needs, your desires, and everything in your hearts. But how happy and grateful I would be if I saw you coming to me and confiding in me, in me your needs. How could I refuse you the smallest and biggest thing if you asked me? I am a very good father, not a fearsome one as you believe. Amazing, isn't it? God having this desire and being happy and being, above all, grateful when we go to Him. Very powerful. And it costs us nothing. I want to share a true story that actually happened at a garage sale. This individual goes there and sees a small framed painting that looked like nothing but garbage. And he asks for the price, and they tell him $5. And he pays $5. He goes and discusses it with, a, with, a, with an expert, and they, and they find out that the painting is actually worth close to five million dollars. It was a Van Gogh, the famous painter. Now, you would think that's a great investment, right? You invest five dollars, you get nearly five million. <laughs> you know, pretty decent. Think in those terms now with God. All we have to invest with God is our hearts. All we have to do is ask for forgiveness. And a multitude of blessings will flow from, from, from that very request. He said it. I'll grant you the smallest and the biggest thing. Because he is a good God. He's a good father. He is not someone who judges. He is not someone who looks for revenge. He is someone who says, come, welcome. I love you. I created you in my own image. When we go to a party, we usually take a shower, comb our hairs, and if you're a woman, you know, do some makeup and what have you, and we put our best clothes on. Why? Because we don't want to look like slobs there, right? Well, listen, how about when we meet God? What do we have to do? He doesn't care what kind of clothes we wear, that's for sure. But he cares what kind of heart we bring to him. Is it one that is ready to forgive those who have trespassed against us before we ask God to forgive us our sins? That's what he's looking for. A contrite heart. Please don't be ashamed to go to him. He loves you. He loves you, and He knows you. There is nothing you can hide. Adam and Eve in the garden, uh, once they realized they were naked, they hid. But God saw them. They couldn't hide, and neither can we. Our nakedness today is not what the nakedness of Adam and Eve was, or maybe it is. Why? 
did they hide? Why did they cover themselves? Because sin opened for them a completely different reality. A reality that caused a separation from God. It's the same exact thing that happens to us every day and every time we fail to forgive those who have trespassed against us. I know I sound like a broken record, but we must, we must continue to ask ourselves, why am I not forgiven? It's very easy. Make a decision. Pray over it. Go seek the guidance of a priest in, in, in confession and move on. Don't allow yourself to be drowned in that kind of mess. I hope you're enjoying the spring. You're having some beautiful weather. May the Holy Spirit be with you and bless you always. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. God bless you.